This is your conclusion? Yes, your majesty. This is the answer that I chose myself. And an elb? You think you can do it? Yes. Humans have the potential. Managers are no longer needed. Contact is not our enemy? Yes. As you say, your majesty. If Faye is... Then I'll leave it up to you. I atone for my crime by doing so. It's a bizarre scene. And an elb. The long-awaited man of God who will take the people born in this world with him to a new horizon. Such is the destiny of the Contact. That is what the Emperor called Fey. He did not tell me why he called Fey that, though. Who the heck is he, then? He is Fey, but he is also the one who destroyed Elru, caused Carr serious injury, sank the Yggdrasil, killed Rico's subordinates in Kislev. Need I continue further? He is Id. What did you say? Id? What do you mean? He, Faye, that is, has disassociative identity disorder. Also known more commonly as multiple personalities. Disassociative <laughs> Disassociative identity disorder or multiple personalities. It's a mental disorder where one person has multiple personalities. That can't be real. Ah, but it is very real. Faye's living proof of it. I've been watching over Faye, who has a destroyer personality within him named Id. In the beginning, he was stable. His disassociation did not occur at all while he lived in Lahan for those three years. Then, after Lahan was attacked, things changed. Little by little, the number of incidences of his disassociation and their length began to increase. And then at Solaris, a complete manifestation of it occurred. What brought it about? It was fine when he was in Lahan, right? My guess is that the appearance of Graf affected Faye somehow. Probably know that Faye worked with Graf as an assassin, as the assassin id, before he was brought to live in Lahan. It was then that Elru... The homeland of Dominion was utterly obliterated. Graf was intentionally provoking the manifestation of id within, for what a better word, for want of a better word, Fay. For what purpose? To destroy God. That is what Graf was saying. That is all I know, though there might be more to it. But one thing is certain. Graf was encouraging the manifestation of Id, but did not have adequate control over him. In other words, there's too much for him to handle? Yes. You said, that's all you know, although there might be more to it. What did you mean by that? I shall go on to explain that now. Actually, that's the most important point. There's nothing you can do. You understand well. Just as I expected, Satan. Or was it Doc? I've been wanting to meet you, Ed. Wanted to talk with you. Guess it's all due to this machine, which cuts the nerve connections. Anyway, what's Faye doing as of now? Faye? Which Faye do you mean? There's more than one? Id? The one you call Fay is asleep. Sleeping? When I'm awake, he sleeps. That is why he has no memory of what I do. Why does he not know? It's obvious. 
He's my subordinate. He cannot peer into my memories. He should not, in actuality, even exist. The man forcibly created his personality. Faye is a tenant in the room of cowardice. That man... Our father, Khan. He sealed up my personality in the deepest recesses of my consciousness. Throughout some inexplicable reason, that is when the present Faye was born. When you said cowardice, what did you mean? Why ask about him? Think you can do something? It's rare to be able to talk to a real schizophrenic. As a scholar, I'm extremely intrigued. Sup, Jay Wills? How's it going this evening? Friends like you, eh, Doctor? Like you, Satan. But he is insignificant. After all, he's just a failure. A coward like him does not deserve to be Faye's existence. A pathetic one who has always fled from reality. He never did one thing against me when I control him. A coward who refused to live. He should have been ease erased. But he continues to exist. Why won't he disappear? Hell yeah. You got any big, big plans for tomorrow? Damn it. Makes my skin crawl. Just being in the same body as him. Let us change the subject. I'd like to know how you and your personalities were split. Since you are the one in control, I would assume you would know the story. Normally, personalities do not split as they did with you. Unless there was some sort of past trauma. You want me to talk about my memories? Don't misunderstand. I haven't given you the right to question me. That's because I'm held down by this machine. Don't push your luck. If I really wanted to, I could break the restraints and crush you. Don't you forget it. Then why not do it? Shall I tell you why? You don't have complete control over Faye, do you? Your control of him is incomplete. To break those bonds would require a tremendous amount of mental energy. <laughs> Reading with passion? I don't know, I'm just trying to put emotion behind it rather than Ben Steining it and be like, Having used up your energy, they would return again. <laughs> Damn, y'all aren't off tomorrow? Figured y'all would be off. Basically, you have to leave the stage. Obviously, the day you would be able to return is indeterminate. Hence, I will not do it. Am I mistaken? So, you know me too well. Don't have complete. What's wrong, Id? Forced me on stage. He's waking up. Under normal circumstances, I would have been able to hold on. But I can't. This is all that woman's fault. Her existence makes Faye resistant. You mean Ellie? That woman, the same. Everyone must eliminate. I do not understand. I do not understand it. You don't need to understand. But when the time comes, just take it as it comes. Reality and death. I'll eventually get to you. Be seeing you. The emotional portion of Faye's present personality was sealed up by his father through some method. And now with the cleared foundation of Id's personality, in computer terms, it's like constructing a mock personality on top of the compatible portion of the OS. That's the reason Faye has no memory of his past. But those ten or so years of memories are under the supervision of Id. <laughs> Cult. As long as Id does not 
willingly hand over the memories. There's no way for Faye to know, since they did not ever exist before the time Id was sealed up. The present Faye's personality is an undeveloped one, which was built upon within the three years of living in Lahan, studying, and acquiring other people's reactions. Hence, it does not know how to fully cope with sudden or emotional situations. Ellie, you're the one who spent the most time with Faye, so what I, I would assume you would understand this. Were there not times when he would be psychologically unstable? For example, he would manic he would be manically depressive and then have sudden fits of rage. Yes. And his present personality is but only a temporary one. It's not what I'm saying. The present Faye is one single personality. It is just that structure-wise, his personality was constructed on top of its. Hence placing Faye at a lower hierarchy. That is why when it is active, Faye has no recollection of it. And that means he might eventually be overtaken by it? Yes. If it were only Id and Fay, but that does not seem to be the case. It only manifests when Fay's mental energy is in a weakened state. It's a mystery in itself that the lower level personality of Fay has any control over the upper level personality of Id. It is obvious that there exists a third personality. Id calls this existence the coward. In my observation, this coward may be the fundamental personality of Fay. In other words, Id's manifestation is not controlled by Faye, but is controlled by the personality known as the Coward. And that means what? At the same time, Id resents this Coward. He also obviously fears it. From a certain point of view, this Coward is the one assess assisting in keeping the present Faye in control. I do not know the reason why this third personality. Excuse me. Faye's fundamental personality does not come out. This one awakens, it'll become one with id. In other words, there's a possibility that the complete original personality may be restored. Is that for sure? Probably. I did not know how to awaken it. Before I had the opportunity, it disappeared, and he's been like that since. Basically, as long as nothing happens to Faye that would challenge his existence, Faye can be himself. But his surroundings do not allow him that opportunity. It'd be best for him to live in a place that's peaceful. My mouth is really dry. Let me let me get something to drink real quick. I'm sorry. Finish that drink and all this talking, my mouth is just like. <sighs>